All right. All right. It's, is it my turn? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, this has like a I'm lot a... of slides. So if you want, uh, you can read this slide and I can read the next. I think it's four slides total, you know? Day Moss. All right, <laughs> let's go. Hey, no, no, I'm not mad. Dude, I like it. Let's, dude, let's do this. All right. All right. Wait, what is... Am I the... Oh, okay. Huh. Okay, never mind. Am I the butthole for accusing my sister of faking her pregnancy and birth? Spicy! <laughs> Why, dude? Why would you need to have a, a, a need to do this? Okay, it doesn't matter. I guess I'll find out. <clears throat> so, I, 23 female, suspect my sister, 28 female, Haley, of faking a pregnancy and birth. This will be long. Bear with me. I'm still confused and shocked. Backstory. Haley and I have the same mother, different fathers. We grew up in the same household, but we have two totally different personalities. I always thought we were pretty close, but when she was around 18 years old, I started to see a pattern with Haley. Haley is a pathological liar. She lies about big things, little things, it doesn't matter. She lies unprovoked, and she also does what I like to call relatable lying. For example, someone could say, I'm going to visit New York. Haley will proceed to say that she's been there and make an elaborate story on the spot. You wouldn't even know she's lying. She has lied about pregnancies as a teenager. Also, she once told one of her ex-husbands that she had lost two twin babies. Ex-boyfriend. Gee, no, I mean, who lies about that? <laughs> she even took him to a children's cemetery what <laughs> hey yo dude what okay she even <laughs> took him to a children's cemetery and showed him a random unmarked grave claiming it to be the twins what kind of <laughs> sadistic everyone that knows Haley knows that she's a pathological liar it has damaged her relationship because i won't i don't know when she's lying or telling the truth I don't even ask her about her life anymore because I never believe a word she says. She has a six-year-old daughter and she's starting to pick up on the lying also. It is truly exhausting. Wow. <laughs> uh, next slide, right? That's, yeah. that's you? All right. Holy crap. All right. <laughs> <laughs> now we are on the pregnancy arc. This has arcs, okay? Bear with it. All right. Haley told my mom and I she was pregnant, but she said she did not want the baby. She thought about getting an abortion because the man she was with was very narcissistic and emotionally or verbally abusive. She never did. About a month later, she finally went to the doctor and Haley told my mom and I that the baby was four months old. She also told us that the doctor said there's a possibility that the child would not make it to full term. For the next four months, uh, she continued to tell us that the baby had a slow heartbeat and how the baby was 3 pounds. Uh, since the pregnancy announcement, my mom and I never seen any ultrasounds, never invited to the doctor's appointments, and we were denied if we asked to attend. She never uh, wanted a baby shower or party for the baby. This hurt our relationship with the baby and the pregnancy all around because we couldn't really be excited. She just always seemed bothered by her pregnancy. I also have to add this, Haley is a heavy set woman. When she was pregnant with my niece, at first it did not look like a pregnant belly, but around the 5 months mark, it started to harden. Okay. With this pregnancy, Haley's stomach never looked hard. Every time she would show her stomach, it looked like she was pushing or for forcing her stomach out. Okay. It literally looked like a regular fat stomach. Still, I had no doubts. She also cha changed her due date two times. Oh wait, but oh, eh? I'm sorry. Oh. It's it's like this is a bit confusing for me. <laughs> I'll just continue first. Uh, towards the end of the pregnancy, Haley dropped a bomb on my mother and I. She told us she did want us in delivery room with her or at the hospital. I was dumbfounded and con so confused. She said it was because she felt alone during this whole pregnancy. I told her that was because she never shared anything with us and always talked negative about the baby if at all. It wasn't an argument with me after pleading with her that she will need support and her denying everything I said. I finally just accepted her decision. Her and my mother had an argument but was okay after a while. 
During this whole time, Haley never kept her six-year-old daughter, maybe one or two days throughout the week if that. This did not start because of her pregnancy. Haley has allowed everyone to raise her daughter for her, mostly my grandmother and I. My niece calls me mom sometimes, and I barely co correct her anymore because she's always with me. Oh, next. Jeez, man. It's the birth of It just gets worse and worse and worse. It's, it's, <laughs> a, it's like watching a freaking car crash. You can't look <laughs> away. Oh, my God. Thank you, Moss. Oh, my God. And, and there is a birth? Yeah. What? The birth oh arc. God. All right. So the birth, I called my sister and asked her if she had doctor's appointment soon. She told me that she did in two days. She was already two weeks past her original due date, but as I said, she changed it two times. Mm. The day of the doctor's appointment came and I called Haley around 1 p.m. She answered and told me her original doctor was not there and the other doctor sent her to a hospital. She also said that the father of the child was up there with her and basically got kicked out because he was frustrated with the doctors. I tried to beg one more time to be able to come to the hospital. She told my mother and I that the hospital would not let us in the room. She didn't even give us the name of the hospital. We were extremely hurt. I called back a couple hours later and Haley told me that she had the baby and the baby was still born. I was crushed. Ugh. Not only because I just heard that my nephew doesn't have a heartbeat, but also because my sister doesn't even want me there to support her. I've always been there for her this is where things get fishy <laughs> okay it's already kind of fishy what do you mean she <laughs> sent a picture of the baby in the back of the picture there was someone with pants on it wasn't a doctor or a nurse the father of the child got kicked out of the hospital way before Haley went into labor so it wasn't him i specifically asked my sister and was there anyone else at the hospital with uh with her at the time she said no so that's strike one mm -hmm. The number two, the weight of the baby. For the last three months of pregnancy, Haley claimed the baby was three pounds. Ooh, that's very low. Okay. <laughs> she told every family member that when she sent the picture of the baby, I see an almost seven pound baby. How do you how do you know? <laughs> okay. Anyway, I see an almost seven pound baby on the screen, uh, falling with a text that says the child's name and weight of six pounds, um, pound pounds. Look at that. Six pounds, pounds. <laughs> uh, also, I zoomed in the picture of the child's hospital band, and I swear it looks like a date of 2023 on it. It is currently oh 2024. God. Strike two. Let's go. During the time she was in the hospital, Haley said that the hospital would release her after six hours if everything was okay. Immediately, I hung up the phone. I called every hospital in my town, and there was no one admitted with my sister's name. Strike three. Oh, right. Before we continue, I have a question. Okay. Well, I don't have kids for sure. I know I have a niece. And if a baby is born, a stillborn, right? Do they still have right. that, 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 you know, like, do you still take? No, no, I'm not asking as if it happened to you or anything. It's just, do people normally take a photo with that board, you know, like with the board of the child's the name abortion? and weight, you know? Like oh oh yeah no no definitely not because right? how traumatic would that be for the mom yeah and like she so, sent it like it's you know dude like that yeah no you bring up an excellent point because like dude can you imagine oh yeah my baby's dead I'm gonna take a picture uh, of it yeah you know? like wait what and what like do you mean? nurse That's... nurse come with the board with the name like I thought of the name and like you know let's yeah. put it there and like. Uh, oh no that that no that's weird it, it's straight up weird <laughs> yeah that's that's not normal behavior right <laughs> oh, okay next slide this should be the end yeah yeah there was more instances but if i share them i might be noticed on here i don't think she knows what thread it is but just in case <laughs> this is uh by by the way most mentioned that this post is four days old and you know yes <laughs> Just in case. Haley was home the next day, which is today. I don't know if I should go over to her house or give it a couple of days. I have my niece with me, of course. I just put her down for a nap. I don't know how to feel about all of this. This was the last straw. I will wait for the discharge papers, uh, but I'm pretty much leaning on my sister Haley faked her pregnancy and faked having a stillborn child. The most horrible part of this is I think she did it. She did all of this to keep a man. 
Amanda uh, the, that tears her down emotionally, verbally, and financially. A man that is 10 years older than her and has never taken care of his 3 plus children. A man that left her in the hospital, so she says, because he just couldn't handle what the doctor was saying. Once everything is out and I have said what I have to say to her, I might cut her out of my life until I am re ready to talk to her again. I have been by her side through everything. I have stayed by her with all of the lying, sneakiness, jealousy towards me, everything over the last 10 plus years. I practically raised her daughter and she would make this big of a lie up and keep it going for almost 10 months. So Reddit, am I the bad to think my sister lied about the pregnancy and birth? How should I navigate our relationship if she did lie? Sorry if this is all over the place, my brain is still spinning. I will give an update as soon as I can but I'm desperate and need help. Oh boy. This is not yeah, even no. really like am I the butthole? This is like help, what should I do next? Oh man. <laughs> this, <laughs> wow. Oh, it never ceases to amaze me. It really does not. Holy crap. So I scroll back to the first slide. And like, you know, if we just read the first slide, the first thought I had was like, wow, this girl's uh, this Haley girl is kind of pick me. For sure. Because it's like, you know, every time someone tells something, she must one-up it, you know? Like, you know, yeah. she must be like, Oh, me too, but my trip is better than yours, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. But then it just went, yeah, worse and worse. And like, yeah, OP, if you watch this Strike 4, why did she take a picture of the stillborn child? Oh, dude, that's weird that's so weird man that is so weird and like yeah, no. opie i like how you actually legit did all the detective work you know the whole calling all hospitals and asking if there's someone with this name in your you know in today or something like that I can't. I really can't. This is this is just so ridiculous. It, it almost feels like it's like a, I don't know, like like a mini series drama or something. <laughs> it's just, it, you know, like this, this can't be real life. Is this real life? I don't know. Am I dreaming? I don't think I'm dreaming. But, but yeah, uh, go go on. Go. It's on. like sometimes I get it. Like sometimes on Reddit, people say like, "Oh, this is a creative work, uh, creative writing or something." But I mean. There, people like this exist. As sad as it sounds, okay. right? Yeah, no. So yeah, like, definitely. yeah. I think my first question will be, what does OP really want? Because if she just wants to like, be free from this whole lying and drama, right? I bet she knows what she needs to do. Because she legit said that, oh yeah, I've stayed all these times and I'm done with it. So she knows she can be done and she know, she can like back off, you know? Right. But... Yeah, at the same time, maybe she feels conflicted because like, you know... Yeah, she loves her niece for sure. It's just... Nah. <laughs> yeah, I think I need to know what Opie really wants. Does she want to protect herself if she does then you know what you need to do but if you it feels like she's asking if there is a way for her sister to change and like the relationship might be better if she waited a bit more you know yeah i, I don't know like because at, at this point it, it doesn't because there, there's so much that is needs to be unpackaged about this post um it's it's not the fact that it's a long post. It's just there's a lot, there's so many questions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there's just, there's so many. Um, but I, I'm sorry. Go go ahead. Finish your train of thought. I know. Actually, I'm ready to hear yours, and maybe I can add on to it later. Okay. Yeah. yeah no worries. All right. So um, first of all, the <laughs> if she's known to be a pathological liar, then I mean, why is this even a question? <laughs> <laughs> of like it, it, you know what I mean if she's if I don't know yeah if it looks like a fish it smells like a fish I'm pretty <laughs> sure it's a fish alright yeah you know like um 
I, I don't know. The, so the for the very first, uh, I guess, slide. Yeah, the very first slide where she's kind of, you know, giving you the backstory about, you know, the, the whole lying and then being a personable liar or whatever. However she did. No, a relatable liar. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's that's already a red flag. That's red flag number one, right? Uh, pregnancy. Um, so here's the thing. You don't have to be overweight. So like it, here, here's something that happened actually with one of my family members. Mm -hmm. So uh, one of my cousins, she was pregnant. She didn't know she was pregnant because she didn't get morning sickness or anything, right? Oh. She was, yeah, she was perfectly fine. Like no symptoms at all. And then she didn't realize she was pregnant until she started developing a small bulge. Mm -hmm. And like she's very petite. Well, she, she you know, really, really petite girl. Um, she didn't know she was pregnant. And so it, it wasn't until I, I believe the second trimester uh, where she was actually show, showing signs. But what the, the reason why I bring this up is because sometimes there is no sign. Sometimes, especially if, you know, if, if this was all true and it's a stillborn, right? Um, the baby's not growing anymore. And, but she would have gotten pretty sick. That, that's the, you know, I don't know. It depends. But anyway, the, there are even like skinny people, right? Mm -hmm. That get pregnant and they don't show any signs. So yeah, meh. Uh, the fact of the matter is when she said that it was going to be about three pounds and whatnot, uh, slow heartbeat, all that, that's already kind of bad. But then it goes on to the point of, you know, it, it, she looked fine, which is, it could happen, but she <laughs> didn't want anyone around. That's so weird in itself. Like, why would you not want some, like, family, people you trust for around during the pregnancy? Right. <laughs> that, that just doesn't, unless they were toxic to each other and you stress that that would affect the baby somehow, mm -hmm. right? But I don't think that was the case, especially if they were trying to be part of, you know, the, the situation, the pregnancy. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. That's just so weird. I don't like that. Um, the second thing. So, well, the third thing that is the birth. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, that, there's something really wrong mm -hmm. with this whole situation. Right. Why in the heck would you? You're supposed to be grieving. But you take a picture of, of uh, your stillborn son, right? Your stillborn child. That is, there's a different level of messed up that you are in right now. You know, like, th that is so weird. It's like, hey, look at what I made. You know, like, mm. no, like, you don't do that. That's, that's ah, that's weird, you know? Um, And especially if you're grieving, you're not going to want to, like, post that. The, you know, it's... That, that's just so wrong that's just so wrong it doesn't even matter about like i i don't know why op didn't list that as one of the problems it, there should be one of these it's like <laughs> right. why did you take a picture of my dead baby you know that doesn't make any sense yeah so yeah th that's one um regardless the, the the other person being there who knows it might have been a freaking i don't know a nurse or something well it says not wasn't a doctor or nurse but i'm just saying yeah i get it weird Strike one. Okay, yeah, waited the baby. All right, yeah, okay, got it. Um, I just think that if she's already a pathological liar, why, why would you even, like, delve deeper into it? You should already know there's a problem, right? And she didn't even want them around, which is already a problem. So, yeah. And then the last one uh, that she said is uh, it's for the discharge papers that she's probably not going to ever get because she's not going to get. It's probably going to be all pencil whipped anyway. Mm. But... If she's doing all this to keep a man, and uh, yeah, no, that that that's already uh, another red flag. So just being in an abusive relationship as it is, how can you say that that's that's anything but a lie? You know what I mean? That, that's yeah. just oh uh, no, 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 no. The, the, everything about this is wrong, and the, the fact that she's not only she as in the sister right mm -hmm. is being manipulative and lying and being a pathological liar but she's passing it on to the next generation like the the niece right yeah it's already yeah it's, this is terrible this is just absolute terrible um op is not the butthole but op is also kind of weird for you i think i know this... family makes you do <laughs> go ahead i think i think i think i get why op is like this like you know how 
I mean with family, with friends, uh, with romantic partner and stuff. We try, when we entrust, let's say, ourselves to them, like when we are like having any sort of relationship with friends and whatever, we entrust, we trust them, right? We try to trust them because uh, we entrust ourselves to them and like she, I think OP is still on the denial stage that she is hoping that she'll be proven wrong, you know? This whole post, I think that's what she's trying to do. Like she's hoping that, you know, or like maybe she needs someone to actually tell her to like, wake up, like, you know, don't spend your energy on this anymore. Your life is more <laughs> worth it than this. Either that right. or like, yeah, because sometimes I also tell when I'm upset about something or if I feel betrayed by a friend or whatever, I go and tell my friends about it and I'm like all about be uh, telling them how I feel about it and like how that person makes me feel. But sometimes maybe what I need is just like, oh, that person is a bad hole, just leave them. You are worth more than this. You know what I mean? It's a yeah. Maybe it's a girl yeah. thing, I don't know. No, no, it's not just a girl thing. It's oh, just for anyone, man. Like, Cause, yeah, like, yeah, because it feels like, I don't know, for you, at least, for you, right? It seems like it's so easy for you to, like, make decision about stuff like this. Like, you know, if they are well, being fishy, then let's swim away. Kind of or, like, fly away. Well, yeah. Right? No, I mean, because that's just my personality, though. But, yeah, yeah, I, I, I see what you're saying. Yeah, so, like, there is... I've got a feeling that she wrote all this really just for someone to tell her like, okay, why are you keeping up with this BS, you know? Yeah. Right? <laughs> More than the fact that, yeah, she's trying to prove, like by telling us a story about and like whatever sneaky stuff that the sister did, right? She's trying to like help people convince herself, <laughs> like, you know, help herself convince people to convince her to you know move on you know what right. i mean yep yeah I, I hear you yeah no i i definitely i mean i don't know maybe she had to put this up just to like verify that she's not crazy i don't know yeah there's Cause, that too yeah because like why would you put all this up when there's so much and so many red flags what's funny is that she asked on the title if she's the battle for accusing her sister but she hasn't done anything of sort one like she thinks yeah, about true. it but she hasn't come and confronted it yet so if the question is like will i be the battle then i'll say i mean if you're ready to cut to burn the bridges and stuff just go for it i mean i can tell that op has some pent-up emotion as well <laughs> that she needs to release <sighs> but like if she's asking if she is the battle now, I don't think that's the right question to ask. No, definitely not. <laughs> I don't think it's the right question at all. Oh man. No. I, yeah. I feel like she I should hunt for the update for this post, right? <laughs> In the next episode, we should read it first before we go to the next ones, you know? I, I, I don't know. Like... Because... <laughs> oh man, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to like end on this one because it's like... It, the, the question is like am i you know like okay. why wouldn't you so, why wouldn't you think she lied about the pregnancy <laughs> you know like like wait, wait i don't understand like what do you mean this is obviously a lie <laughs> like what the i don't know or like maybe we focus on the last questions like am i the battle for thinking this and like how should i navigate it and etc like maybe if you are in op's position what would you do zin, zin, you know zin. And, and that no no and no, no and that's like the weird question because it's like do, do i even i know this is messed up but like would i even care <laughs> oh, um, whoa. no no like for real can you hear me out whoa, whoa hold on <laughs> what would i even care because if she's a pathological liar right and she lied about something big like a pregnancy and she even said like op stated i think on like slide three or whatever mm -hmm. that um she was actually upset because they didn't invite her over or her mom over they didn't want anything to do with them and whatnot and all this for like a man so like nothing to do with like being a good sister or anything it was just like just because you know just because she wants to freaking have this dude this like 
you know toxic relationship like at that point it's it's something that we talked about like how can you help someone that doesn't want to change right you know what i mean like mm. uh if she doesn't see anything wrong with lying about a miscarriage or a stillborn sorry mm -hmm. uh, a pregnancy something like really big and intimate like that how the how am i gonna treat everything else you say you know mm. i'm not gonna have an ounce of respect or trust in anything like wh what do you mean like this uh no 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 i can't not not with this so i i guess in my big long loop around way of putting it <laughs> yeah. i wouldn't like i wouldn't care like i would wait until she's probably done with living like that mm -hmm. <laughs> um and then try to talk to her because she'll be my sister but yeah until then no like or at least bring it up and just be like hey you need to stop being a freaking liar i don't <laughs> i don't like it like this is terrible i guess for me it's more like well i would advise that op really sit with herself and think like you know if she wanna confront the sister right what result does she wanna keep uh, like what result right. does she want to get from it because yeah i think on the first few slides she mentioned that um it's damaged the relationship so like there is nothing left i would say <laughs> so what is she holding on to right now like if she can be selfish and throw away the name of the family the label of the family what would op wants to do <laughs> at least that's how i would approach it like you know this a uh, whole behavior is unacceptable i don't want this in my life then what do you want to do if you're not a family and then proceed from there i would say yeah no no i i agree and and because it's family it's even worse but it's like at this point just i don't know i think you just got to move on after that you know there, there's nothing good about hanging out with a pathological liar yeah there's, it's there's gonna nothing be tough. good with it it's gonna yeah, be so, tough, but yeah, it's need it's needed. This action is needed. True. Yeah, no. Uh yeah. <laughs> she's not she's not. She's not the butthole. And she she shouldn't really care in my opinion until later. Mm. Because this is obviously a, a freaking lie. Oh man. No no no. <laughs> uh, okay. 